Okay, I apologize for the last video. It was absolutely horrible. <laughs> it unloaded in like 370p or something like that. But anyway, today I'm going to work on this area right here. I'm pushing to get through, so hold on a second. This area to the back door. Actually, the back bedroom. I've got the... Uh, I got it upside down. No, I don't. I've got the wood trim. If I can get it in there right, it'll stay. This is such a small area right here, next to this cabinet, that I just bought corner molding. And I'm going to put that up. And then finish off where the countertops were installed. I'm going to finish up this fake tile oops, out to here. And then put this in. And then I was working on this threshold right here. There's a drop down to the back bedroom. Right here. Big step down. And I want to lay my laminate, not laminate, vinyl plank. And I have taken the grinder and smoothed and smoothed and smoothed this out, but it still wants to rock a little bit. So I've got to come back and smooth this out just maybe an eighth of an inch more. What happened to my concrete? I told them not to throw it out. Anyway, this fell off. Oh, I said to save it. Well, I've lost it. Great. So now i got to figure out how to fix this edge here. It just fell off. So that's the project for today. So I'm going to try to wet this a little bit. I don't know if you can grind wet or not. But my God, the dust. It gets in your hair and you can't even wash your hair. The water just rolls off. So that's the project for today. So let me get set up and we'll get started. All right, I've wet this down a little bit. I'm going to see if it'll grind without screwing.
Now that I'm completely covered in dust, let's go dust off. It's rotted out down here. And it looks like it's been replaced once. That dogs drive me crazy. Looks like it's been replaced once. Right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this caulk or whatever and replace this. I think I have enough one eighth or quarter inch, not sure which, Luan to go right there. So let me find my knife and we'll get that because I don't want that rot. Well, it's really not rot, it's just been pulled off. You know, it's just old. Get that put back on there. And I'm gonna raise it up a little bit, I think, so I can get that under it. So when I make it, I'll get it where that'll slide under it. So let me mark that. Be right back. So I'm gonna mark right here where I want that to be cut off. Okay, and I'm gonna cut This isn't, I hope this doesn't go behind. I have a feeling it does, but. Oh shoot, got off. 2,000 pounds of caulk. I promise you. Yeah. Oh, multi tool, here I come. Hold on. I am not pulling that off. much to go. <laughs> Just a little tiny that I got to cut off to make room for the floor. It's actually going to go that way. So anyway, let me find a new piece and cut it. All right, found a pretty good piece. I'm going to trace around it. So let me go cut it and I'll be back. All right, let's see how this fits. All right. Oh, there's a hump. Shh, Bentley! Crying out loud, there's a hump. Let me get that out. I thought I had it. Alright, now there's 
there's one down here that I still have to get. That one right there. And it's one of those cold cut nails. Let's see if I can. There was one more, but I guess I ground it off. I don't know. All right. Let's see now. Good. Perfect. Good. All right. So let me glue that up. Oh, this is the good side. No, that not seem to matter. I want to get the glue. in there. <coughs> now I gotta find some spackling or something because I also have where is it? Where is it? Up here. Sorry. Right here I've got a line. I gotta tend to a seam. So I'll get that seam and this seam. Be right back. Maybe. All right. So let me get this open with my super rusty spackling knife. While the spackling's cooking, I've got to bring this out, my lovely fake tile, to at least here. So I think, well, you know, I got to cut right through one of those. But uh, let me cut that off, and then I'll show you how this goes on. I just got to cut it off level, and then I'll show you. Okay, this is for Kay. Kay asked, where do you get these from? Hope that's not backwards. It's art3d.com. And I've been, that's what these are right here. And I've been very pleased with it. I'm going to try to cut, I put a new blade on. It's self-adhesive, peels off, and then it has a protective layer here. I don't know if you can see that. And I usually try to leave this protective layer on until it's on the wall. So right now I'm just gonna measure. Oh, I need to take out, I don't know if I can get this silicone caulk out from here to here or not, but I need to be able to slide this down in behind that backsplash. And I don't know. If I take that protective coating off, I might can. Nope, I'm gonna have to cut it. What a stinker. Let me measure it. I've got my Sharpie. So I'm going to line these up and get my 
head down in there. And I'm going to cut that off wherever the little mark is. So, I would have had this done, but I was not sure where the backsplash was going to end. So, looks about right. Just, I'll draw it under the line. Okay. Cut. Now I promise you, once you stick this down, you cannot see. And I got a little bit, a little bit more to go. You cannot see where it's lapped over. All right, just a smidge more. Sorry about my head, but I gotta get in here. Cut one little tiny corner off. There we go. You usually don't have this much cutting to do. There. Sorry. Alright, now I'm going to cut somewhere over here because I've got molding going over it. So that looks good. Set that. Cut it all the way down. I'm using little squares as guides. Okay, cut that all the way down. Sorry. Okay. Let me cut the rest of this bottom off here. That was just temporary. Okay. Get off. So. There you have it. Alright, so let me peel off the back. That's the hardest part. Oh, came off really well this time. It's 
Sorry about my head, but. Okay, then you touch it. Don't be going pressing down hard and pushing across there because you will mess up the little bubbles, the fake tile. And you cannot see where those were overlapped. Can't do it. So I got that little project done. Now I'm gonna have to put a little piece of trim across here because obviously it stops in the middle of nowhere. Over there I had, wherever it is, I had door trim that comes down, but I don't over here. So I'll have to make a little piece of trim here and here, whatever doesn't get covered up. with that so I'll have to make a little piece of trim and that's it so I'll finish that and I bought some super 77 just in case it didn't stick but it sticks really well I mean if you misplace it you can peel it off but um, and replace it so that's not a problem they say the greatest failure rate is when you place it on a painted wall but all of mine was uh, bare loo on so I didn't have any trouble it stuck right to it I need to press that down and that does it all right while I'm waiting on the back door to set up cure or whatever I've got problem well it's not a problem it kind of is a problem but uh, I got a plug in there this toilet flange is lead and it sits too high. I bought this PVC replacement for cast iron closet flange. Okay, it's a four inch pipe. I set it in there. Too tall. So, Trying to figure out a way to cut some of this lead back. I got a plug in here. I want to make sure it's level. So I'm just going to use my tin snips and these to kind of break pieces off. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I know that's probably not the way you do it, but that's how I'm going to do it to get it level because there's plenty of plenty of lead pipe down in there. So I'm going to take these and set it even with my subfloor here. And snip it. And it works. Yay! And then take this and wiggle that little piece off if I can. Don't want to break too much. go a little bit lower just getting it started in that little spot it's kind of hard okay I think I can just snip all the way around and try to keep it level
Didn't see anybody. It's kind of like cutting bubble gum, but it hasn't been chewed. We got mm, about that much more to go. A lot better. There. Okay. Now, you seat this in there. And then you take an Allen wrench. Oh, yay. Let me go find an Allen wrench. Anyway, when you tighten, you screw these. This band expands to make a tight seal. Now, on this lead pipe, I definitely don't want to do it too much but I do want a good seal, so I'll have to try to peek under there somehow. Make sure I'm not overdoing it. So, let me go get my Allen wrenches. All right, I washed my hands really well. Got my Allen wrench. Let's see. I bet you the one I need is the one I'm missing. But let's see. What'd I tell you? Yep. Why does everything use the same size Allen wrench? God. I got one more long one. Let me go look. Okay, I found an Allen wrench. Now I gotta make sure it's set right for the flange bolts. So. Three quarter. Hallelujah. There you go. <laughs> 12 and three quarter, 12 and three quarter. All right. So now. Don't fall. Now, let's turn these. One, two, 
Hmm, one fit again, tight. One, two. Oh, more. Darn good. Make sure it didn't crack anything. I don't see anything. A little bit more. That one seems a little looser. Nothing. push my luck. All right. Now let's make sure it didn't move. Twelve and three quarter. And then I got this wax ring thing after I screw it down. Oops. It's not wax. It's one of those new green ones. We'll see. A sandy seal. No best, no hassle, just a perfect fit every time. So I'm going to plug this back up because I am not ready to set the toilet. thing on the to-do list which is probably going to be I hate that I'm tearing it down I don't like it so that's got to come down but I'm not doing it right now